you see here, in this sorting table. So here we put all the grapes and if we see that something is bad, we take it out. Then we put the grapes in the distemmer where the stems are taken away. And then um, we crush them in the crusher. And when we have red grapes, we put all the pulp in the tanks. Uh, during this period, during the alcohol fermentation, the temperature increases. And this is something bad for us because um, we may lose aromas, it's risky for the wine, and that's why we cool the tanks. So out of the tanks, where you see these small circles, so in this part, imagine that there's a damp layer, um, a cooling jacket, where cold water circulates and cool the tanks. So with this system, um, we control the temperature, and for the white wines, we need low temperature, around 16 to 18 degrees Celsius, for the red wines, we need a little bit higher, around 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. Um, and also, uh, if you see, out of the tank there is a pump. With, this is for the red wine. So when we have inside the juice with the skins, with this pump, we rotate, the, we rotate the juice, we circulate the juice through the skins, and we have better results in taking the color. So we make several times during the day rotations, and it's better the result that we have. Uh, now, the fermentation takes place for about two weeks, 15 days, and that's it. After these two weeks, the wine is ready. Uh, we don't want to give it a lot. In the center of the Mediterranean Sea lies an island lined from post garden sea beaches and sapphire blue waters. Popularity, Crete has kept many of its treasures secret known only to the few and the privileged that take the time to really know the island. So, no, no, no. <laughs> That's okay. You'll better be, not be. You'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Now, this tour we're going on was arranged by PNO. You can buy their tours on boat or before you go on the cruise itself. Now, previously we used to arrange our own tours. We found that quite often in the past we've been scammed by taxi drivers or by tour operators at the places that we're going to. The taxi drivers especially, they, they con you by telling you they're gonna take you to all these different places. And when you get there, they tend not to do it. They're half asleep, they drive dangerously. And you end up paying as much as what you would with a tour anyway. At least with the tours, you're safe. Your time's scheduled. Now, I know that might not be appealing to some people, but if for some reason your tour is delayed, you're covered getting back to the boat. The boat has to wait for you. And if the boat can't wait, at least you're covered by insurance. Whereas if you go out on your own, you're not covered by anything. So in the case of a major catastrophe, not that that would ever happen, at least you're covered by booking a piano tour because obviously worst come to the worst they have to put you up in a hotel or whatever but normally if they're running late the boat will wait for you but if you go out on your own and you're late something has happened you've been robbed you've got injured that ship is not waiting it is sailing so my best advice is we've done these trips many times now it's easier going by the tour groups okay it might seem a little bit more expensive, but trust me, in the long run, the prices work out the same and you get a lot more professional service. Well, that's the tour bus we came with. It's air-conditioned, it's nice and cool, and the driver is nice and safe. 